Thank you very much. My name is Masi Suo. I'm a director with Laser Property Services Limited, a subsidiary of CPF Group, uh, whose core business is pension administration. We have uh, CPF Financial Services Limited, who are the pension administrators of all the county governments in Kenya. So I must say that I'm very honored to be participating in this year's conference and um, excited to be making a presentation on a topic that I'm very passionate about. My presentation will focus on three key areas. I'll give a highlight of uh, some of the incentives that the Kenyan government has put in place to uh, promote the affordable housing agenda in Kenya. I will also discuss some of the opportunities available for pension funds um, in affordable housing. Um, I'll give a highlight of some of the key issues that uh, perhaps have led to the low uptake um, in affordable housing uh, projects. And of course, I'll give a brief of CPS role in promoting the affordable housing agenda in Kenya. Moving on to my first slide. Um, so what are some of the incentives that the government has put in place in trying to promote the affordable housing agenda in Kenya? Um, I would start by appreciating the Kenyan government for the great efforts they have put uh, in place. Uh, because uh, most of these incentives have had a significant impact on the cost reduction in terms of the construction costs, as well as the unit prices. And notably, we have the 16% VAT recovery on construction costs that has led to a reduction of up to 9%, um, and this is quite significant. Um, we have the 15% corporate tax incentive that has led to a price reduction of um, 4%, which is also quite significant. And then for developers importing um, AHP uh, construction materials, there's a discounted uh, import declaration fee as well as a discounted uh, railroad development fee. Um, tax has a direct significant impact on project returns. So having a government offer such incentives is a financial motivation for investors to explore uh, affordable housing projects. Now, the other incentives that the government has put in place, uh, one of them is provision of bulk infrastructure. So the government ensures that um, there's adequate uh, provision of water, there's uh, adequate um, electricity, there's a sewer connection, uh, road infrastructure has been done to the site. So the developer will not incur any cost on bulk infrastructure and the government through the urban support program will ensure that the services are connected to the site. The other notable incentive is the 70 30 uh, split uh, in favor of the affordable housing component. So, the developer in the appraisal, they're able to factor in a commercial component that can be sold at market rates, and this enhances the project returns. The other um, incentive, or rather, the other um, yeah, it is an incentive um, the government has created a housing portal um, called Bomayangu. And this links developers with uh, buyers. It's a way of developers doing some sort of market validation uh, because they will be able to ascertain the level of interest registered before they commence construction or commit finances into a particular project. Yeah. The other incentive is for the end user. So for any first time home buyers, you do not have to pay stamp duty on purchase. Um, your closing costs will be significantly reduced because stamp duty in Kenya is one of the highest costs. It's one of the highest closing costs uh, for property buyers. So um, that's a highlight of some of the incentives that the Kenyan government has put in place uh, to promote affordable housing. And they have been very active uh, in engaging key stakeholders to give suggestions on how the government can support more. Yeah. So what are some of the opportunities for pension funds in the affordable housing investments? Um, the county pension fund has been at the forefront in promoting the affordable housing agenda in Kenya. And in our mission of uh, fulfilling lives, uh, we are always trying to engage uh, with key stakeholders to ensure that we are serving our members in the best interest. Um, we discovered that majority of our members, once they retire, they use their lump sum pension payment to invest in property. And it's unfortunate that one can work their entire life um, uh, paying rent and can only afford to own a home upon retirement. So we had various discussions with key stakeholders and tabled a proposal to allow 
members to access part of their pension contribution while still in service to purchase a home. Uh, our proposal was adopted and members can actually access up to 40% of their pension contributions to buy a home. So this is an opportunity for pension funds to sensitize their members and package projects guided by their members' housing needs. Yeah. The other opportunity for pension funds is the creation of a new asset class, a location to affordable housing, uh, which is a 10%. And this is in addition to the already existing limit of 30% for property and an additional 30% for real estate investment trusts. Um, pension funds can leverage on REITs by pulling well-managed affordable housing estates into a REIT. And this can be an alternative source of finance where a number of pension funds come together to invest in mega affordable housing projects. And um, there's always a long-term investment potential arising from well-managed housing estates that can give good returns if you factor in certain um, um, elements like yield compression, um, index linked rent increments, um, uh, value growth, all these factors will contribute to yield uh, good returns at the end of the holding period. So those are some of the opportunities that pension funds can explore when making investment uh, decisions. So what are some of the key issues that perhaps have led to, of course, the low uptake of affordable housing projects by uh, pension funds? Um, so one of the key issues um, is competing assets. Um, a fund manager will argue, uh, why not um, invest in a risk-free asset? Yeah. The other key issue is end user financing. The cost of financing in Kenya is very high. Uh, even though the demand for affordable housing is extremely high and continues to grow, end user financing is still a challenge due to the cost of finance. Yeah. The other key issue uh, focuses on the land, on land issues. Uh, government is the largest owner of land and uh, most prime land that government um, is providing for affordable housing is not in vacant possession. You find that there are tenants who have uh, lived there for over 20 years and one has to follow due process in trying to achieve vacant possession. So most potential developers who would like to partner with government shy away from being involved in the relocation process uh, due to the time it will take for the actual construction to take place. Yeah. So those are some of the key issues uh, facing uh, the affordable uh, housing investments um, in Kenya, specifically for pension funds in the pursuit of uh, you know wanting to invest in affordable housing. Um, just to give a brief of what CPF is doing in promoting the affordable housing agenda, we are packaging a number of proposed affordable housing uh, in various counties in Kenya. Our flagship uh, project is situated in one of our lake cities, uh, Kisumu. We are hoping to break ground very soon. Um, it comprises of about 1,200 units. And uh, just to highlight that, this was one of the redevelopment sites that was occupied by tenants who had lived here for over 40 years. It took us a record two months to achieve vacant possession. And this was achieved through numerous stakeholder engagements and development of a resettlement action plan that had the input of all project affected persons and of course the approval of the county government. So this is one of our projects. Uh, that's just a concept photo of uh, the same project. And just to um, report that we plan to roll out a number of affordable housing projects in other regions uh, guided by the detailed, um, by detailed market surveys and uh, feasibility studies. Um, yes, yeah, so as, as I conclude on my presentation, I would like to highlight that building partnerships with key stakeholders and being able to identify potential investors whose investment objectives align with ours um, will be a critical, um, will be very critical in successfully delivering the affordable housing agenda. At CPF, we value partnerships that are aligned with our mission and vision. Um, our recent partnership um, with IHS, the International Housing Solutions, uh, we are one of the pension funds that have invested in their housing venture. They have just entered the Kenyan market and their focus is on uh, delivery and management of affordable homes. And we are happy to be part of a venture that will see many of our people own a home. 
So thank you very much. Uh, that's the end of my presentation. Uh, please feel free to engage with us. We welcome any investor who would like to explore affordable housing investment in Kenya. Um, I believe with great partnerships, we can achieve sustainable returns and make a positive social impact in our communities. Thank you very much.